What do we got going on here? Well, this is the AR4. It's a six-axis robotic arm. And what it's doing right now is it's moving to different positions in space. But how's it doing that? Well, there's six different joints, so that means we're setting six different angles for each joint to go to. But what we're giving it is not six joint angles. We're actually giving some code an end position in space, three-dimensional space, x, y, and z. By giving it an end position, we need to do something to actually determine what to set all of these joint angles. And that process is known as inverse kinematics. So inverse kinematics is the process by which you can give an end position in space to the end effector, which is the end of the robotic arm, and it will go backwards down the robotic arm and determine all of those six different joint angles. In this case, there are six joint angles. In other robots, you might have seven, you might have less, you might have robots with four joint angles, but this one has six. I have a link in the description of this video talking about how to actually go in the details of all the different mathematics that happens behind the scenes here, which involves matrix multiplication and some basic trigonometry. Um, but this is a super cool thing you guys should totally go learn about, and it's used all throughout industry. Um, and I hope to actually bring you guys some cooler videos of this arm and future arms doing some even cooler stuff. If you guys like what you saw here and you want to see more of it, go to my channel, Robot.js. I talk a lot more about this arm, and in the future, I'm going to actually have a second arm uh, from iGUS that's a little bit bigger and a little bit more powerful than this one. I'm going to make it do some cool stuff. I'm going to go into details about how I wrote the code, all using JavaScript. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.